we've got here is a power supply from a Williams Space Station pinball machine. Uh, it's going to be a very quick fix. I haven't got much time. I've got about 10 minutes before I need to set off uh, and put this in a machine. So we've got a short on the high voltage section. So we're not going to basically, we're not going to rebuild the high, high voltage section. We just need to find what is shorted and get it replaced. We can tell it's a dead short as it's blowing the fuse up with a big white flash and you get all black and glass. So what we're going to do is pull the fuse. We're going to bridge cross it. I can't do this on the camera. Well, we'll do it in a minute. Let's see if we can do it right. So we're going to bridge across this fuse holder. Uh, we're going to wire up to the transformer inputs from a dual rail supply. We're going to put plus and minus 35 volts in a very limited current. So we're going to put, say, 5, 10 milliamps in. Um, and then we're going to see what gets hot and see if we can identify what the fault is. Under controlled current conditions, the MJ150030 was getting hot. That's the uh, positive rail high voltage transistor. This is this. I've pulled it out, and all three pins are short circuit, so I'm going to stick a new one of those in. Transistor fitted, um, short against the fuse again, kept all the power. I'll we'll power on with a we've got 28 milliamps set. And you can see now it's actually up to full voltage. Previously, it was basically dropping the voltage down to zero and showing a short. Uh, on the power supply, so that's no longer shorted. Now we need to reverse the uh, connection so that we can test the negative rail and make sure that's not shorted as well. I uh, tested the negative voltage rail. This one was actually showing as a short as well. Um, it's actually got a short between two pins. This is the MJE15031 uh, negative high voltage capacitor. I'm just going to replace that now, and hopefully that's everything for the high voltage output transistors have been replaced just to clarify what the fault was this the positive rail transistor was a complete short across all three pins that was actually the cause of the fuse blowing now the negative one has short on the output and that was basically would have been causing a high negative voltage because it wasn't regulated it was basically just shorted on so you'd have been getting say 120 volts negative instead of 100 so this would have been damaging the display. This one was causing the power supply fuse to blow. So both have been replaced. Once it's in the game, I'm going to check the voltages are stable under load with the display in. More than one fault on the positive rail as well. So we've replaced these two power transistors. And we're not getting any out voltage output at the connector. This connector goes to the display board. That's the power. So you've got five, nothing. Uh, plus 100 minus 100 so we can see um, when I apply voltage through the power supply we can see uh, voltage on the output but not on the positive side so we need to check out why that is looking at schematics we've replaced Q1 um, and Q2 is an MPSD52 that's uh, going to be my suspicious component so let's have a quick look at what we've got going on let's get probing so we've got 9 volts at the collector which sounds about right. Got a resistor there between the uh, currently uh, 12 volt rail um, and the collector. So let's have a look at the base. 8.7 volts out of the base. Yep. And the emitter, nothing. So, probably dead transistor. Let's get that done. So, I've replaced the pre-drive transistor which was an MPSD52 didn't have any of those so I stuck an MPSA92 in which should be fine um, I also replaced the 100 volt xenodiode as that seemed pretty crusty um, so that's that there and I also accidentally replaced this 3.9 volt xenodiode now that's only because I accidentally desoldered it uh, and because they're very cheap and I've got plenty of stock I thought well let's put a new one in so that's just been replaced uh, as a side effect of fixing the fault. Anyway, if we now look, we now have voltage appearing on the high voltage transistor, the MJE15030. And if we look at the output connector, we can now see we're getting 10.0 volts. We're actually getting an output, whereas previously we we're getting no output. Um, so that indicates to me that that circuit is working so we know it's putting out some voltage but we don't know if the regulation is working what we need to do uh, we basically need to cascade the power supplies so what i need to do is power up all of these um, and we're going to basically cascade them all through because i need to create at least 110 volts to check that the regulation is working and it's actually limiting it to 100 volts supplies set up cascaded for 115 volts we've got 35 70 
90 115 limited at 10 milliamps on all um, the negative is referenced to ground and then we're basically connecting the negative to ground and then this is the 115 volt positive output so we basically need to clip the 115 onto the board like so there's my ground lead gone and ground goes here um, I'm just going to basically move any other random bits of wire and tool out of the way because obviously working with high voltage is not particularly safe. And once we've done that, obviously one spare leads like this lying around. Uh, once I've tidied up, I will then get ready to power up. Output hooked onto the output connector and we've got the ground meter hooked into earth ground on the power supply stack. So, if we power on, so let's do one at a time. So we're seeing 13 and a half on the output. Can't see 43. And 35. 77. I really want to be doing this. Like that. And we're seeing 101 from 115. So I will say the regulation is correctly working. 102. Moving up slightly. What I'll do is I'll leave it running for a few minutes just to make sure it doesn't increase. Um, we're drawing 6 milliamps, according to those two more accurate supplies. 